Good afternoon, Freedom Fighters. It is 12.52 p.m. Alaska time, April 5th, 2024. We're looking at live satellite just north of Hawaii in the Pacific Ocean. And I just realized some very unusual cloud formations I've actually witnessed myself. Usually, it will like fall like rain when it does this, when they drop this material. I don't know why they're doing it so far out in the Pacific Ocean. But you can see how it spreads out. But look at a video here showing the same exact stuff here. I'll make it bigger. A group of fishermen have experienced a bizarre sight from a boat in the Gulf of Mexico. This flying saucer-like cloud formation forming in the sky off the Florida Keys, looking like something out of a sci-fi movie. Bro, look at these clouds. A group of fishermen have experienced a bizarre sight from a boat in the Gulf of Mexico. Okay, we've seen this in the Gulf as well. But here it is again in the Pacific Ocean. They said it's from aircraft. Our actually news people did say it was from aircraft, but we're a long ways out in there. I'm going to put it in motion here the last three hours. Very unusual. They're dropping something out here in the Pacific Ocean for whatever reason. And it's doing the same thing you just seen the video on. And it looks like rain when it falls back down. And I hear people talking about it in Florida also doing that recently. And I have seen it here recently. Let me look around real quick. I had some work to do I've been playing with. But let me look around real quick. I just seen that. It was very unusual. And I already knew what it was. I just It's man-made. Whatever they're doing, I don't know. Stand by. Okay, Warriors, this is live. We're over to northeastern United States and part of Canada. I want to show you how to keep the spin going with the machine. You can already see the fingerprints in both directions. I mean, north and south there. But watch how this machine can push it in any direction. This is the last six hours. You can see the riffles up here spinning it to the west. Riffles down here spinning it to the east. And y'all will have con con continuous bad weather as much as they want. They can probably create a year without a summer if they truly wanted to. Or temperatures so hot you can't stand and kill millions of people up north without ACs. They claim they're going to prevent global warming by clouding the planet out. But in reality, clouds hold in heat. If you live in Florida, you know exactly what I mean. It'll be so hot at night, you won't be able to stand it. It won't release the heat. But you can see how the machine's pushing it to the west here. Very distinct. And you'll see how they're pushing it to the east below the spin down here. Fictitious terms are gravity waves, but it's a machine, and most likely that just your harp devices on the ground, but all these cell phone signals, um, satellite systems in outer space can have the same technology. It's just frequencies. Let me show you the 5,000 plus satellites, soon to be 42,000 satellites. I see this offshore too far to be anything part of the cell phone towers or just the yeah, cell phone towers or the next red radar system. Continuous chemtrailing out in the Atlantic Ocean as well as smoke. Definitely. 
Put some contrail on that there. Very distinct lines. It's just from aircraft, but they just keep that material in here so they can control it. All the way to Europe. The whole Atlantic Ocean is clouded over, guys. That's dangerous. That's insane. <laughs> For some reason right now, the Gulf's clear, but the whole entire Pacific Ocean is clouded over. But a crazy spin. The southern part as well. They're going to... Without sunlight, it will destroy the planet. Right now, Australia is somewhat clear. And it's just breaking daylight in Australia. My friends live here. They shrimp here. Somewhere here. I'm not sure exactly what town he lives in. Maybe Townsville, actually. Somewhere right in here, I think. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, anyhow, that was very unusual off of Hawaii there. Got the same little teardrops. Uh, let's see, there's Hawaii. Even Hawaii's cloudy. Not really sure what this is about. I didn't see that the like this past year. It's my first time seeing this. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you satellites. Stand by. These are Starlink satellites. This is what I'm actually running my internet off of at this moment. The lines you see is new ones up. They're usually lower in altitude. 6,064 has been released. 4861 is in use. This is what I'm actually communicating it with y'all. And they're 583 kilometers. But I believe this is what's creating some of these riffles as well. One person was like, oh, you know how big a machine would have to be? No, it don't have to be very big. How about thousands of little ones? You could control the world. And they're over everywhere. It ain't like China's lot. It's everywhere. And this is a Web 1. This is the U.S. government, I believe, mostly. They're a little higher in altitude. Double the height. They're 1,200 kilometers. This is our GPS system. They're much farther out. And for people that does not believe their satellites, and I'm crazy, I can show you them at night. I watch them many, many years. I watch satellite standby time lapse coming up. Every second of this video is 30 seconds. This is only works when the sun first sets because it reflects the light. It's on the other side of the curvature, and you can still see the satellites reflect the sunlight even after it goes down. And he's got light-sensitive cameras. I've never seen this many, but you can still see plenty of them. But... Every second, yeah, they it's truly cool to see them. And I love the Milky Way. If anybody hasn't ever seen the Milky Way, it's incredible. You can see the rotation of the Earth. I actually tell time by the stars, the morning star, uh, Sagittarius. I'm not sure the name of the star, I have to look it up. The name we call it the morning star, but it's got another name, Siri, star Siri, or something. But um, I tell time by that star. When it comes up, I know it's time to start headed towards the house. It's almost about to break daylight for many, many years. 
But uh, let's look at the Milky Way. It's incredible. I've watched the Milky Way galaxy my whole life. This is a great time lapse of the rotation of the Earth and the Milky Way galaxy. So many stars that it's bright. And uh, you can actually see aircraft and ships and satellites in some of them. But yeah, there goes a satellite. But truly incredible the Milky Way is for the people that's never seen it. Go out into your darkest areas you can find. Without chemtrail filtration, of course, they've destroyed it. I ain't been able to see it like this anymore. Not like the 80s. It was truly beautiful. Commercial fishermen standing by. I wanted y'all to see the uh, punch hole clouds, I guess they call them, and the beauty. That we've miss we're missing now. It's hard to see this where everything's clouded out. Commercial fishermen standing by. Have a good day. There goes another satellite. Truly beautiful.